What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general collective reading for all signs, Tattoo Sag, everybody, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. Oh, I feel so much better now. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. Thanks for all the recent donations. Um, if you like to book a personal reading, the link's in the description box below. I have a new service called Life Coaching. If anybody's interested, the link's in the description box below. And yeah, oh, and thanks for all the new subscribers. Love you guys so much. Okay, so I received another channeling. Um, I don't think this is for a majority of my collective. I think you know these people. I just want to say that. I think you know these people, and you're about to see this manifest out in 3D to these people. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates in your own life, okay? <clears throat> Somebody is going through some very hard financial difficulties. Um, very hard. Um, and I know a lot of us, uh, a lot of people are, um, depending on your situation, financial situation. But um, I, I did hear in the channeling that these people deserve it. So I did hear they deserve it. So I wonder if it's the same energy of the petal green I, was just, I just uploaded onto my channel. Or some other kind of illegal criminal activities, possibly. Um, I did hear the spiritual download. They did deserve it. So it's not somebody that really works hard and they're upright and treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, values. It's not those kind of people. It's like criminal people. Uh, people that do things shicey behind the scenes. Um, low vibrational people. They don't treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. It could be cheaters or something like that. I didn't hear specifically, but I did hear they do deserve it. I, I'm just saying. So whoever these people are. I, I heard air sign and fire sign energy heavy. Um, I did hear that too. So air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and um, Aries, Leo, Sides, energy heavy. Masculine or feminine? I didn't hear masculine or feminine. But heavy, fire sign, and um, air sign energy uh, of these people. Whoever these people are and how they applied in their life. And earth sign. And earth sign. And Earth, just now, Earth sign. Of course, Capricorn, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sage, and Gemini, Leo, Aquarius. And I did hear specifically they're in their 30s and 40s. Sp specifically. So they're in their 30s and their 40s. These people, they're in their 30s and their 40s. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sage. They can have any of those in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, Hammer, Jupiter charts. These people in their 30s or 40s. Feel you know these people is what I'm feeling. Um, or you used to know them. How that resonates and applies, okay? But I heard uh, um, these people participated in illegal um, dealings in the past. And uh, now um, a lot of these illegal criminal um, situations have been shut down. Their businesses are tanking. And, um, and I heard they're not bringing in near the income that they used to bring in. Um, I heard... Uh, I heard repossessions, I heard foreclosures, and I heard for a lot of these people, through many series of chain events soon, they're about to have to move back in with their parent or parents. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. So I think a majority of my collective, you're about to see this in these 30s and 40s individuals that were involved in some kind of illegal criminal business or businesses of the past, or still illegal criminal businesses, but they're not doing well now. Um, like power of the people energy, refusal of whatever the hell they were um, offering on the criminal illegal dark side there. Um, I heard uh, repossessions and um, foreclosures coming, so it hasn't happened yet. The foreclosures and the repossessions have not happened yet. And I'm thinking of large ticket items here, and I'm just being for real. Uh, foreclosure would be like a home or a property um, or something of that nature. Repossession could be like a boat, an ATV, a um, uh, boat, an ATV, uh, a vehicle, something of that nature. Um, but some kind of upcoming foreclosure, upcoming repossession energy. Um, and I heard a lot of these people are, through many series of chain events, they're about to move back in with their parent or parents. So um, I think you guys are about to hear about them moving back in with their parent or parents or see them, the U-Haul. Excuse me, moving back in with their parent or parents, or what have you, what have you. 
You plug it in how it resonates, okay? Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're in their 30s and 40s. Some of these people are about to move out of state to move back in with their children, uh, with their parents. They're highly embarrassed of the past. Okay. So some of these people, it sounds like their parents live in the same state they live in. Some, they're about to move out of state to live, to move back in with their parent. And their parent or parents live in a state different from them. So for some of these people, the their parents live in the same state as them. I'm feeling United States energy here because I heard state. Um, and for some, the parent or parents live out of state from them. And I heard they're highly embarrassed of the past and they're about to, I mean, it sounds like they're about to be forced because um, they can't, I mean, my God, they can't pay their bills. They don't have the money to do it. But they, but in all fairness, they shouldn't have been involved in criminal business or business, businesses. And that's just the truth. I mean, I've been through some hard economic times, a lot of them in my life, but I made, but I learned from that. And I learned to manage my money with what I had and learned to grow what I had. Um, and I think that's lessons that everybody has to learn in life, you know, um, because everything is just not all peachy king all the time. And that's just the truth, unless you're a trust fund baby. But I'm, to my knowledge, I'm not a trust fund baby. So I, I didn't have a silver spoon in my mouth and I still don't. So, you know what I'm saying? Unexpected income. Courtship reversed. Some of these are divorces, cheating situations. Some of these are divorces, cheating situations. So some of these are divorces relating to cheating situations. So infidelity. Some are um, illegal business or businesses. Some they're going to move out of state. Um, but it, in all fairness, it sounds like they're about to lose their home. I mean, they just can't, they don't have the money to pay their mortgage. They don't have the money to maybe keep their uh, utilities afloat, keep their lights on. They don't have the money to pay um, the car payment or the vehicle payment or what have you, what have you. Um, um I mean, some people have that option to move back in with their parents. I had a very terrible foster monster. Uh, I don't care if I lived underneath a bridge. I would never go back to her house, ever. She kicked me out after nursing school. So why would I ever go back? And that's just the truth. You know what I'm saying? But that's just my situation and story. I can only speak on myself, not anybody else. I just heard reshuffle. We got unexpected income and courtship reversed. But I did hear... Um, there was some kind of infidelity divorce, uh, upcoming divorce situation happening in one of these. So I think the ones legally married with infidelity, they're about to get legally separated. I think their lawyer fees are about to occur with that. If it's not a non-contested, I mean, depending if they go cont contested or non-contested. Spirit messages, do you have to question? Steve? change yeah um there was some kind of illegal business or businesses in the past criminal and some kind of infidelity too um with these people i feel for a lot of you guys you're about to see this i don't feel it's you for some it could be only you know your story not anybody else but i feel for a majority of my collective it's not you i think you're about to see this manifest i think you're about to hear oh blah 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 they're about to go through a divorce there was cheating there or blah 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 blah, blah. um I'm about to move back in with their parents and they're about to move to Tennessee or they're about to move to Alabama. Or they're about to move to Florida back in with their mom or dad or both parents or what have you, what have you. I think that's what a majority of my collective is about to experience. For some, it could be you in this situation. Only you know your situation is going out anybody else. Thief and change. Her take them. We had 24 and 9. Number 24 and 9 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 24 and 9. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other, any other significant number, 24 or 9.
And it's and some of these people, they uh, there will be custody changes here. Un, they will be proved as an unfit parent through many series of chain of events. Oh, my God. And some of these people, there will be custody changes here. They will be proved as an unfit parent through many series of chain of events. Uh, I wonder if they're going to prove the unfit parent with, with the illegal business or businesses. Um, because, you know, you're not a very responsible individual if you go around running an illegal business or businesses. I don't care how much money it affords you. That's not being a responsible parent. Um, anybody with that know, you know, with logic and reasoning and wanting to protect your kid and your life would know it's never a smart idea to get involved with any kind of criminal activities and illegal businesses because that's a huge red flag of an unfit parent in my opinion um and that's just the truth you should do it the right way if you truly care about your kids you truly care about your house you truly care about your yourself you would not get involved in criminal illegal businesses because once the public finds out, or once the feds find out, or once the police find out, people that actually care and want to bust this shit up, it's going to look badly upon you as a parent and a person. And that's just the truth. But I, I think these people were just money hungry. I think they were just money hungry. Extremely materialistic, extremely money hungry. It's about to backfire. There's a boat about to be repoed. There's a motorcycle about to be repoed. A four-wheeler about to be repoed. Okay. Um, I heard, okay, so extremely greedy, materialistic, and money hungry, basically, these people. Um, I heard a boat is about to be repoed specifically, a motorcycle, and a, um, what was the other one? ATV, so a four-wheeler. A boat, a motorcycle, and a four-wheeler, an ATV. Um, mm, thieves, illegal business. Thieves <clears throat> making money off other people's backs or feeding people's addictions, i.e., the illegal business. And also, this could be you can steal money, energy, your time. So, this also could be um, the sneaking around, the infidelity. Um, sneaky text, sneaky. Oh, I got, um, um, you know, you're supposed to be in a marriage contract, legally binding marriage contract, if you're not polyamorous now. And I know that's different for polyamorous people, but I'm not polyamorous, never will be polyamorous, not interested in polyamorous life. But that situation for those people are different is what I'm saying. They all agree, are supposed to agree at the beginning of who's in the relationship. So there's not any sneaking or sneaky text or sex, oh, no, not sexting, but uh, sneaky links or third parties or what have you, what have you, because everybody knows who's in the polyamorous relationship or supposed to at the beginning. Polyamorous life ain't for me, and that's just the truth. But some people it is, and I don't judge. But what I'm saying is this could be time, energy, or money. I think the thief also could be sneaking around with somebody else's, uh, somebody else. I mean, I'm just being for real. And it's about to create change. Houses are about to get foreclosed upon. Um, vehicles uh, are about to get repoed we've got a boat about to get repoed a motorcycle about to get repoed a um what the hell else was it a um uh, atv a, a four-wheeler i mean the list is going on over here big ticket items here stemming possibly from an illegal business or businesses because i'm picking that up very strong in here um wow 555 change energy And an Aries position of high authority is about to be terminated soon. It's about to shock the hell out of them. One feminine, one masculine. They will have to move very, 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 very far distances to find another job. They're about to be publicly humiliated in their community.
They're already going through financial difficulties. Okay, so we got Aries energy strong in here. Aries position of high authority energy. Uh, they can have Aries in any aspects of their chart. So I think they were, I think they're part of this. Because I heard fire sign, earth sign, and air sign. We got Aries position of high authority. Uh, at least two of them. One masculine, one femme. I heard they're about to get terminated soon through many series of chain events. Very rightful termination. Very rightful termination. So very rightful termination. I'm feeling, I heard position of authority. They can be manager, boss, supervisor, CEO, or some kind of high authority type position, whatever they are. I didn't hear specifically what they are. Um, only these Aries know who they are when they get terminated. But I heard it's about the public humiliation. Uh, so I'm assuming their friends group's going to know. The community's going to know. Uh, a lot of people, like, I think a lot of people know them. They're very heavy in the public eye. But once they get, and I heard it's a very rightful termination. I didn't hear specifically the details. But it sounds like they, confirmation my phone. They very much deserve it. They very much deserve it. And they're very heavy in the public eye. So once this, once this occurs, I'm as presuming, I heard they're going to move very, 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 very far distances to find another job in their career field. So very far locations. If, I mean, well, I heard a job. I heard a job. I didn't hear in their, uh, in their career field. I heard a job. So whatever the hell they're about to get, confirmation again, whatever the hell they're about to get terminated for, it's about to be huge. It is about to be huge. And a Scorpio gigolo, his business has already tanked down. He has severe health conditions. He's about to come out of the workforce too. And he will definitely not be able to find another job. This is significant to many, 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 many people. Many people. Oh, my God. Okay, we've got a Scorpio gigolo in here. So, a Scorpio masculine gigolo. Anybody doesn't know a gigolo is a masculine prostitute. Um, and he's about to come out of the workforce. He works in the workforce right now. But I, he has terrible health condition or conditions. Sounds like right now. I wonder if it's STD related. I didn't hear it was. But that's my intuitive logic and reasoning um, that it is, is STD related. But I heard he's, uh, he's about to be forced out of the workforce. So, I don't know if this is a rightful termination or a health related situation or both but he is a gigolo so he works in the workforce but he also either now or in the past sells sold his body out for sex for money basically um but i heard he's about to be forced out of the workforce so i don't know if that's medical related to medical conditions or conditions you just can't work medically like physically or He's about to be wrongfully, I mean, not wrongfully terminated over reason or reasons or both. But he, I heard he's about to be forced out. And I heard he will not, there's no way he'll be back in the workforce. Like, no way. So, I don't know if his health is about to climb so bad or people just aren't going to want to hire him or both. Um, I think this Scorpio Gigolo and this Aries position of high authority are very significant in here to you guys. I think you know the Aries position of high authorities. There's at least two. A masculine and a femme and this Scorpio masculine gigolo that apparently has been selling his body out to everybody and their mama. Um, huge thieves here. There's about to be huge changes, changes to the Scorpio masculine's health and to his employment status and to the Aries masculine or femme position of authorities. I heard they... It, if they even want a job, they're going to have to move very far locations. So, I mean, like, get it, pack it up in the U-Haul and lo relocate because whatever the hell they're about to get terminated for, it is something terrible. Um, and it's about to, I feel highly embarrassed. Though. Let me see if I hear anything else. It is about to seriously, publicly humiliate them. They probably will move and move very quickly, very far locations. Both of these, Aries. 
Okay. Uh, both these areas, I heard it's about to seriously publicly humiliate them, and um, both of them will probably move very far locations. And this is about to create huge change, huge change for people they were bullying, targeting, and um, gang stalking in the past. Huge positive change. The Aries and the Scorpio. Okay, so it's about to create huge positive changes. Okay, so apparently these Aries, two position high authority Aries, masculine feminine, and the Scorpio masculine gigolo, they were apparently bullying, targeting, harassing, and gang stalking. Some of you guys, that's what I'm feeling. Um, that's exactly what I'm feeling because I'm pulling this in for a reason. I think they were bullying, targeting, harassing, and gang stalking you guys. Whoever you are, if you fit into this category over here. But I heard it's about to create huge positive. I think they sold for you either energy, time, or money, or two or two plus. You plug in how it resonates. But it's about to create huge positive changes for you, sir, ma'am, whoever you are. Um, these This person about to come out of the workforce. I'm about to get so ill. Um, I mean, he's a male prostitute. I feel for a lot of you guys probably know he is, or you're about to learn he is. And these two, one masculine, one femme, heavy Aries energy. Um, I heard these people will probably move and move quickly. Um, and I also, um, also heard in here after that channeling too, and I didn't speak it out of my mouth, but I heard they're experiencing heavy financial difficulties too. These two are. I, <coughs> excuse me. I just didn't deliver it out to you guys. But So I'm, I'm presuming they're probably going to sell whatever they have quick and just move to get the money. Uh, if they're experiencing heavy financial difficulties. Or just pick up and just go. I'm not sure. I'm not them. But I heard if they want a job, they're going to have to move very far distances. So it sounds like that's about to be the choice they're about to make, which is about to create change. And this Scorpio masculine gigolo is, I think, connected to these people. Or you know one or two or two plus of these people. And, um, I mean, their health is just about to go down. I mean, go down um, significantly. But it's about to create positive changes for you harassers, targeters, are the one, ones you guys that was harassed, bullied, targeted, and gang stalked. It's about to go positive for you guys. I think it's because these people have been exposed or about to be exposed for the Decepticons they are, basically, and it's about to help you out in a huge way. Create change, positive change for you. It's about to create change for them, too, but I don't think it's change they're going to want. Obviously, they don't want public humiliation, but they should have been involved in some kind of illegal business or past or some kind of cheating situation or whatever the hell it was, um, divorces or whatever is going on over here with these people. Some kind of severe, um, I'm thinking STD-related decline here. I didn't hear that, but that is my intuitive logic reason and take on this. I think there's a reason I heard Jiglo, meaning he is splayed his sexual energy out to a lot of people and he got paid probably a lot of money for it. meaning I, there's a reason i heard that so i think and i heard his medical um conditions declining so i think it's related to stds is what i'm saying but regardless however that resonates for you guys that was bullied targeted harassed and gang stalked these people abuse of power all day long i i can't i don't even know what to say about this um it's about to create positive change for you guys. Um, they're, they're thieves of energy, time, or money. And it's about to create change for them. But I don't think it's change they want. But it's, it's about to be a great positive change for you. If that resonates with applause. And a feminine Scorpio gay karmic sister of this Scorpio gigolo, she's about to get some very heavy negative karma too. Very heavy negative karma. She was involved in this in the past as well. She wronged you in a huge way in a workplace situation in the past. The tables are turning. She helped bully, target, harass, and gang stalk you in the past. Oh, okay. So we got a Scorpio Femme. Archie's gay. 
and you know, I don't care. I don't care if you're gay, straight, bi, whatever you are. But I did hear specifically she's gay. And she's a karmic sister of the Scorpio masculine gigolo, apparently. Um, whoever you are, the bully, targeted, harassed, and gang stalk person or people over here in this category, she did some shiesty behind the scenes love of ritual dirty shit to you in the past. You were in a workplace situation with her, at least for one of you guys. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. But I heard basically, um, She's about to experience some heavy negative karma. Now, I didn't hear specifically what it is, but I did hear she's gay. So I think somehow, I don't, I don't know. I just heard she's gay. So I, somehow that's significant in here. Um, I feel heavy sexual health energy here for some reason. And I'm just being for real. Wait, heavy sexual health energy. Somebody needs to protect their sexual health. And I'm just being for real. Um, you know, there, there's STD tests out there. You can go to the public health department. You can get STD tests. Protect your health, you guys. Protect your sexual health, please. I just feel like I need to put this on here. You can go get an STD test, you guys. You can go get a test. Protect your sexual health. And I'm just being, for, I mean, I'm celibate. I haven't had sex for three years. But somebody's having sex up in here. And a lot of it, and hey, if whatever. I mean, hey, you go with your bad self. But what I'm saying is, I feel the need to say that. Because... I feel his is about to be STD related. And there's a reason I heard she's gay. So I wonder if she got into something sexually as well. And it's about to decline her health. I didn't hear that was the case, but I intuitively wonder it. Or, there, I don't know. But you did work with her. She's gay. She's a sister to him. And anyway, she betrayed you in a huge way in a workplace situation, sir, ma'am. She's about to get her negative karma. I feel it might be STD sexual health related. I didn't hear it was. But however is um, resonating here is about to create change. Uh, for these two, karmics, uh, brother and sister combo, these Aries, and for you. This is a hot mess express. I heard she helped bully, target, harass, and gang stalk you in the past. So um, whatever negative karma is coming to her, I guess. And another Scorpio masculine and a Scorpio feminine is about to learn they're about to be put on academic probation. And a Gemini. And a Pisces. Oh my God, what is up with all this academic probation? And an Aquarius. And an Aquarius. An Aquarius, a Pisces, a Scorpio masculine and feminine. Um, um, and a Gemini. They're about to be learn about to learn. They're about to be put on academic probation. This is secretly behind the scenes about to help you out in a huge way. This is secretly behind the scenes about to help you out in a huge way. So I think you targeted, harassed, bullied, gang stalked individual of the past. It's a Scorpio masculine and feminine, a Gemini masculine or feminine, a Pisces masculine or feminine, and a um, who was the other one? Um, there was another sign. You have to go back and check it. Um, but they're about to get put on academic probation. They're about to get put on academic probation, but it's about to benefit you, uh, bully, target, harass, and gang stalk them. Um, they're in school, some kind of higher learning, I'll tell you that. They're in higher learning for sure. Um, and a Sagittarius. And a Sagittarius. And a Sagittarius. And a Sag. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates, but there's about to be a lot of change here, a lot of change. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody have a good day and namaste.